you might have noticed we have a new Make It Real intro. Uh, it's been used on the past few videos. Let's take a look. Now the cool thing is, I didn't actually make this. One of our fans did. Uh, his name's Leo, and he runs a YouTube channel called Tips, Tricks, and More. Uh, there's a link in the description below so you can check it out. But basically, he sent me an email a few months ago now and offered to make a more epic Make It Real intro because our old intro is actually, uh, it must be like five years old by now. So he started by sending us this. And as awesome as this is, it's obviously copyrighted, so we couldn't use it. So I worked with Leo and we grabbed screenshots from some of my projects throughout the years. And then what I did was I actually added a comic book effect to a bunch of the pictures to make it seem more like a comic book. And the end result is pretty awesome. So after we used this for a few videos, another fan actually reached out, Oliver Graham. And he's actually a composer from England and he offered to write new music for the intro. So he did. So that's how we made the new intro. Big thank you to both Leo and Oliver for helping make this happen. You can check out their YouTube and SoundCloud pages in the links below. And if you guys ever notice something on our channel that you could help with, send me an email. <coughs> hey guys, so we're working on a lot of cool projects right now, but I got a bit sick. So I took some time and actually went through some of the old footage from over the past few months, and we put together this really fun video to show you what goes on behind the scenes here. When we're working on projects here in Canada, sometimes we have good weather and sometimes we have bad weather, but we don't let that stop us. I'm so sick. Wow! Working out Hacksmith style. So one of the cool things with being the Hacksmith is people give you random stuff all the time, including a whole bunch of unused airbags. So uh, we attempted to blow them up in a safe manner. So do they work? Do they not work? We don't know. Three, two, one, go. You know, it's a very miserable day. It's also okay. Three, two, what? Go! Oh. Hmm. Three, two, one. Oh, come on! Three, two, wait, wait. one. <laughs> um. <laughs> we really not have vlogs in Canada Day? So on Canada Day, which is July 1st uh, for our American fans, we set off the largest firework that you legally can in Canada, right here in our backyard. <laughs> So for a future project, we want to try and have like fire trails from the tires. So we were experimenting making big sparks. And honestly, this actually looks a lot better than the firework we shot. So 
So a while ago, we actually wrapped Bogdan in bubble wrap for a little experiment for a TV show clip we were filming, and um... This is Sparta! <laughs> And that was for research purposes, uh, right? Now when playing with fire, it's important to make sure you do it outside, or at least mostly outside. Yes, on fire inside your thing right? Only plastic is in everything. Your foot's on fire. What are you doing? It's almost there. Now, as you guys know, we did a pretty big collaboration with Jarrah Saval, William Osman, and Peter Shrypel uh, a few months ago now, actually. Uh, I'm William Osman. I'm the Hacksman. <laughs> I'm Jarrah Saval. I'm Peter Shrypel. And we'd like four cheeseburgers. But when they got here, I wasn't actually home. So we had the security camera feed of them exploring the garage without me there. And what they were saying half the time made no sense. Ooh, casting couch. Three casting couches. Ooh. I think it's gonna open. Oh, it is. Oh, not. I know. <laughs> oh, jeez. I'm not getting in that. Or skip to a chimney game. Bad part. Uh -huh. No one seems like see this as like a hazard. What? What looks down? The huge drop off. Wait, is it the floor? It just goes to the floor. Oh my god, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, you two. Have fun. Oh, let me out. Oh god, no. I'm excited to get to talk to you. I've got this project that I want to do. Lots of garage door opener. Is that a garage door opener? Yeah. Oh my god, you guys. That's amazing. I'll see you. I'll see you. It's actually like one of the Japanese ones. It's fancier. Gotcha. So you don't think running larger motors like those. I feel like things that we're not supposed to touch are probably have things that they don't touch next to The bed's opening again. Is there someone in here? That's what I was waiting to see. I don't see anybody yet. It's a lot harder to hear the person inside than you know. Don't go in there and jack off. Oh, what? I'm gonna sleep in there. Wait till, wait till tomorrow night when I'm actually in the house. Then you can. <laughs> uh, legs being weird, butt should be, and your butt being weird, butt should be. Oh, that was bad. Oh, that's he hit a trailer with it. Oh no. Did you, you need to keep up with the video. No, it's remote controlled, and they drove it into the trailer by accident. Oh, so they just so no, nobody was in it. <laughs> At least I'm pretty sure. But you know you oh, can't. You're yeah. pretty. <laughs> yeah. Oh, nice. It's all urinal. An engineer came in. He used it, turned it on, and didn't turn it back off. Yeah. I like googly eyes, but this just feels kind of wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really good. What's the most inappropriate, but not too inappropriate, thing you can do on a security camera? Mm. This is right. The lamp? Yeah. The leg lamp? Right. I wanted it on my legs for the mm. maneuverability. Okay. Yeah, you made my cut double down, so we gotta fix that first. <laughs> hey James, is your laser not cutting well? <laughs> my friend Peter had bugs in his lens. <laughs> my stuff is such a mess. Look at that. Are these real Arduinos? Who buys real Arduinos? Who wants an Arduino? Okay, these look Chinese. These are Chinese. These are ripoffs. Kind of looks like that is what it is. It's, a good, it's getting quite a bit of frame choice, especially with y'all. I want to say they are. Work. And then, yeah, and then you grow. Time for another fan mail segment. This is actually something we ordered, and I think you guys are going to recognize it. But we got some Ivan heads for an upcoming project as well as some of their uh, skull toppers as well. You can fill that with blood and guts and then smash it. And this is what's inside of the Ivan head to simulate bone structure. These are all from Zombie Go Boom. If you guys aren't aware of that, you should check out their channel. They're pretty awesome guys. All right, what should we open first? This is from Gage Mulberg. 
Dear Hacksmith, my name is Gage Mulberg and I'm a huge fan of you and everything you do. The projects and stuff, you know. So I spent an entire half hour drawing a rough schematic for the vulture's wings from Spider-Man Homecoming. By the way, all the designs are changeable. If I knew what I was doing, I wouldn't be sending this. Wait. <laughs> what? <laughs> and one more thing, please put this in the video. There you go. <laughs> cool design. Oh, um, not so long ago, we actually gave a tour uh, of the garage to some local homeschoolers and they left me this awesome little note right here. And then this one, I I've never seen an envelope like this before. Looks more like a Ziploc bag. I'm gonna take a wild guess and say this fan's from Vancouver. Fridge magnet, Let's see what the note says. Dearest Smither of Hack. Hello there, I hail from Vancouver, BC as evidenced by the cool fridge magnet. I hope you put it somewhere cooler than a fr fridge. Here's a picture that I drew of us because you were out of town. Also, please mail the Ziploc bag back. And he left us his address. Um, no, this is mine. Well, that's next. Dear the Hacksmith, something that I especially liked was when you built the Iron Man suit. You started a GoFundMe project, but you never really finished or made a final update. P.S. Could you please feature this letter in one of your fan mail videos? And he drew a uh, play button on the back. If anyone else is wondering, the Flying Like Iron Man project's kind of been put on hold because we just don't have the funding to continue it. We tried launching that GoFundMe campaign, but we didn't raise too much money and we weren't really able to do much. Uh, we do have an update planned very soon, so stay tuned for that. Well, companies have actually been pretty good at sending us uh, product samples in the mail, though we'd love to get more fan mail. So our P.O. Box address is right here. It's on our website and it's in the description below. So if you guys want to send any kind of like letters or like fan art or anything, we'd love to see it because honestly, I love reading these letters more than getting product samples. So please send us stuff. Why am I packing up these batarangs? Well, when we were in Michigan for the art prize, we gave batarangs out to every fan who visited us. But we want to offer this to everyone. So we're going to offer you guys something new. If you guys send us fan art, the top three submissions every month will get a signed batarang in return. If you've been following the channel for a while, you know that we did have a DJI Phantom, but we kind of crashed it in a video, so we don't have a drone right now. So TomTom Tom actually sent us the DJI Spark, which is a very small and portable drone, also by DJI, and it's actually pretty sweet. Yeah. So when you use the auto launch feature, it flies 1.2 meters up from the landing point, and uh, that's basically the ceiling here. Oh, that's strong. I need some practice. Now this is kind of cool. A company called Cano sent us this and it's actually a DIY kit for making your own RGB LED display. The instructions include all kinds of things of doing your own text displays and as you can see you can do color gradients and all kinds of stuff like that. Um, so we're definitely gonna probably put this up somewhere and maybe have it do like a subscriber count or something so you can do scrolling text like that. And it's even got a music uh, visualizer mode which sounds pretty cool. Plus, it also includes project boxes, so you can keep it safe, since it's not the greatest to have a exposed PCB like that. Finally, we also got a pretty awesome flashlight from Olight. This can basically blind you if you look at it, like you will get some serious uh, sunspots on your eye. So, so that's low mode. So I think this is the 9000 lumen mode, and as you can see, it's pretty bright. All right, so that brings us to our very last package, and this one's really cool, and it's gonna allow us to do some pretty cool stuff in the shop. Uh, we've been uh, talking to a company called Shining 3D, and they actually make 3D scanners. All right, so in box number two is actually a 3D scanning turntable. So basically, you can put your item to be scanned on the turntable, and then using the handheld scanner, which I believe is in this box, you can actually scan a very accurate model very easily, and that's why it also comes with a tripod. And the actual scanner, oh. That is awesome. So this is the actual 3D scanner. I've never actually used one of the ones that looks like this, but basically 
That's exactly how it looks. It's a handheld scanner. You can literally take this and you can basically walk around an object and scan that object into a 3D mesh, which then you can use for 3D printing and other designs, stuff like that. We're actually gonna get trained on this by the company uh, so we can figure out how to use it properly and then we're gonna be using it for our projects. And we have a few projects lined up that we think would be really cool. One of the really neat things we're planning on doing with this is we can actually 3D scan ourselves. So that means when we make a project that's designed to fit on our body, we can actually make it fit on our body perfectly. And upon closer inspection, the uh, foam inserts are actually milled. So that's pretty neat. After learning how to use a scanner, we can now uh, make a clone of Ian. In fact, it's quite easy after you learn how to do it. So once again, if you guys want to send us fan mail, fan art, or samples from your company, our PO box is right there in the description below and on the Contact Us page on our website. So looking forward to the next fan mail. That looks very futuristic, kind of like robot eyes. We could probably use this for a robot. Well, hope you guys enjoyed that nonsensical video. If you like this kind of thing, make sure you subscribe to our vlog channel because we're going to be moving content like this over to that channel. So make sure you're subscribed, notifications turned on. Also, make sure you're following us on social media like Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. We are recently doing a meetup that we posted a whole bunch about on those social platforms and a whole bunch of you guys came out to visit. But I know there's a whole bunch more who didn't even know we were there. So make sure you're following us on those social platforms so you're up to date when we do meetups. Thanks for watching and make sure you have notifications turned on. We're building a lightsaber for the release of the next Star Wars movie.